right, science can't answer the question. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to rock your world even more. Where did this stuff come from? You don't know. Where did the laws come from? Why are they consistent? You don't know. Where did the energy come from? You don't know. Where did the space, space come but from? But we know where the energy and where the space came from. Where, where did they come, come from? from? This is, we're going into like deep physics and I can't sit here and tell you all of it. So this is probably gonna sound a little out there. But the basic idea that modern physicists use to explain where the Big Bang came from is that originally there was nothingness. And when you have nothingness, Nothingness is inherently unstable. Well, nothing, nothing is nothing. Nothing, nothing is yeah. nothing, but nothing, nothing is unstable. No, nothing, nothing, really nothing can't be unstable, it's nothing. no lack of ignoramuses with PhDs. Many of them teach at Harvard University. We're hardwired to be stupid. Duh. I was stupid. 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 So stupid. The moron. Dumb. Stupid. Stupid. Stupidity. The dumbest. Stupidity. Ignorant. Proud of what you don't know. Everybody says, I think for myself. Nobody tells me what to think. And then when you interview 50 people, who all say the same thing, and all say they think for themselves, and nobody tells them what to think, you realize all these people are actually stupid. Einstein said that the universe and stupidity are infinite. We live in a world that can make us more intelligent than ever. We have more books, more movies, more information than we could possibly use. We have incredible knowledge at our fingertips. Almost anyone can be a filmmaker, or a radio station, or an international publisher. We have thousands of universities, tens of thousands of channels of TV, and millions of websites, and almost as much freedom as we want. We have more potential than ever. So how come so many of us would rather play dead? Stupidity dumb? is not so cut and dry. For one can be educated, and they can, at the same time, be stupid. We're in a giant car heading at a brick wall at 100 miles an hour, and everybody is arguing about where they want to sit. Stupidity is by far the greatest destructive power in the history of humanity. Well, you know, I've always been fascinated by the phenomenon of people following people who are not smart. Stupidity and intelligence had nothing to do with education. Education is terribly important. But there are people with not much formal education who are extremely bright. And I've met university professors who are totally stupid. You know, I know manual workers who are, I think, smarter than the people in the faculty clubs and solve harder problems. They're just happy having their nine to five job. The kids jump on them when they come home. Like I said, they eat a plate of pasta. Sunday they get along with their family. I don't think they're dumb guys. I just think they maybe they're the smart ones that know what they want out of life. I've always felt that people will, will, will choose to be stupid, a little bit stupid at least, out of fear. They're afraid that, that the truth, the intelligent truth, will be so depressing and, and we would be so hopeless that they'd rather not hear it or see it or find out about it. We are very stupid. Einstein said that the universe and stupidity is, are infinite, but he's not so sure about, um, no, excuse me, he says, Einstein says that the universe and stupidity are limited, but he's not so sure about, um,
you felt it your entire life. That there's something wrong with the world. You don't know what it is, but it's there. Like a splinter in your mind. Driving you mad. Do you know what I'm talking about? The Matrix. The Matrix is everywhere. It is all around us. Even now, in this very room. You can see it when you look out your window. Or when you turn on your television. You can feel it when you go to work. When you go to church. When you pay your taxes. It is the world that has been pulled over your eyes to blind you from the truth. What truth? That you are a slave, Neo. Like everyone else, you were born into bondage. Born into a prison that you cannot smell or taste or touch. A prison for your mind. Fantasy that blind. 